We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. I want to say this. I want to talk about this brother real quick. <clears throat> I'm very happy that this young man is improving. He's talking. He's able to communicate. And I think it was less than a, a week or a little over a week ago, this young man, uh, how you pronounce his name, DeMar Hamlin, <clears throat> he basically suffered something like a heart attack on the field. How old is he, 23, 24 years old, young man? football player, because that's all the Negro know how to do. All respect to him, but this is the reality of it. That's all we know how to do is play football, be a rapper, and all this other you know, nonsense. That's all we know how to do. And if you're a rapper nowadays, you mess around and get killed in a club somewhere, and then you risk being handicapped and destroyed on the football field. You know, we we willing to do these things, but we're not willing to go to war. We're not willing to fight for what what rightfully belongs to us. But I wanted to talk about him real quick. because he's 24, 23, 24 years old. It's a reminder, and I wanna talk to, the, to young people, because when you're young, you think you can't die. When you're young, you think you're invulnerable. And I know myself almost 60 years old, and I let all my grace show nowadays or, or whatever. So immediately, younger people are, you're an old man. OG, you're an old man. This young man could have easily lost his life over a football game. And I have lived double, almost triple, what he has. I already been 24. There's no guarantee you gonna make 24 or 25. I already been there. We become arrogant because of our youth. But you don't do nothing with your youth. What does playing football accomplish? A whole lot of hoopla. What is the real benefit except making some money? What is the real benefit that, that we get out of football, sport and play, rap music? We don't get nothing. You think you're indestructible. Death do not care about your youth. Death don't care that you rich, you poor, you black, you white, male or female, you a baby, you a dog, you a cat. Death don't care nothing about 
those things. We concentrate on things that don't mean nothing. And we procrastinate and we postpone things that we should deal with now. Oh, I can wait till later. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. And he's an example. I wonder if he has a will. Because if you're making a lot of money like that, you're playing on in, in the NFL, I would, I would assume that you have a will, but I'm young. I'm only 23 years old. Death don't care about you being 23 years old. You're lucky to make it that far. I'm enjoying right now this movie. Uh, it's a series of movies called uh, Final Destination. I, I, I like that stuff. It's, 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 it's violent and it's gross or whatever. But it goes to show you death don't care nothing about your lifestyle or who you are because you're the president. No, death don't care about stuff like We trip off of that. Death don't care nothing about Beyonce and Jay-Z. Dad don't care nothing about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Noah and Jesus. Dad don't care nothing about all that stuff. All, all these people was taken out by death. <laughs> death don't. See, some people might think I'm a little, uh, it's a word for morbid. Because I, I, I like death. I like death because death is, is not prejudice. Death is not bias. Death don't, death treat everybody the same. Dog, cat, zebra, young, old. It don't, death don't care. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Death don't care because you're a celebrity, because you got $5 billion, because you, you, what's his name? Because you Elon Musk. Elon Musk, you're going to die, sir. Warren Buffett, you're going to die. All these people, all these people that we put on these pedestals, you're going to die. Michael Jackson is, is gone, y'all. Thousands of people come to see Michael Jackson. So who is more powerful? A dead lion or a living dog? Now, when the lion was alive, he beat the hell out of a dog. But the lion is dead, and the living dog passed by the dead lion, lift up his leg, and take a wee-wee. <laughs> what you going to do about it? What you going to do about it, lion? Can't do nothing. Dead. Our current leadership, the current people that's egging us on are people who are worshiping dead folks. Nubal Jawali is, is dead. Elijah Muhammad is dead. Louis Farrakhan is not a leader. He's telling you, we falling a dead man. I don't know how y'all doing it, how you're doing it, but we falling dead folks. You know we love, we pro Malcolm X here. Malcolm is gone. He can't help us. Marcus Garvey is not here. We have to go. Black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving.